Hey, what's going on everyone? I am the OP Jealous, and I have week number 7 of season number 5 of the WPL. Now, this week we are taking on Slaybait, coach of the Toronto Torkels. Be sure to check him down in the de description below. His side of the battle will be out. We did face him once earlier this season in week number 2, and we did manage to come out with the victory. We ended up winning 2-0 in a very close, intense match, so be sure to check that out. The WPL season plat 5 playlist is also down below if you guys want to check that out. But uh, we revealed quite a few of our strategies last time, our sash lead Azelf with our taunt, so I had to prep a little bit differently this week. So we are bringing the Nasty Plot 3 Attacks Thunderous Incarnate right here with the Darkinium Z Black Hole Eclipse just so we can catch the Bronzong. If he is specially defensive, it will do around 50-60%. If he is physically defensive, it will Oko, and it does Oko the Latios, Latios too, and uh, we obviously do speed creep that by one point since we have one high, base speed higher. We have uh, dual Scarfers this time. We're instead of the Sash Lead Azelf, we're running Scarf Azelf. It's a great check to Scarf Terrakion, and it also has uh, coverage for pretty much everything else. Shadow Ball hits this and this. Uh, Psychic will do a good amount to the Vaporeon and the uh, Heliolisk, so that's what we're rolling with. And then Scarf Kiram can really rip through his team if we can get rid of the Bronzong and Scout for the Terrakion's Choice Scarf. We have Leftovers 3 attacks Tail Glow Manaphy right here. If uh, Victini decides to go for a V Create, we can live that, and we will outspeed due to the V Create speed drop, unless he has Choice Scarf in which case he does not 2 it KOs. And then we have uh, Defensive Sizzle right here. A great response to Terrakion and Latios if he doesn't have the HP Fire. And we have uh, T-Spike's Defensive Cafagragus right here. Just in case you wanted to bring like a Dragon Dance Latios or um, if it is Scarf Terrakion it won't 2 it KO that. And it can also switch into the Bronzong if we need it to. Gyro Ball will not do a lot. So uh, before we get into the match, be sure to uh, subscribe down below if you want to follow the Agrons for the rest of the season. We already secured our playoff spot so we're trying to secure a round one buy. So the subscribe button is in the bottom right I believe that little icon so be sure to subscribe if you guys want to uh, follow the agrons we'd get a new logo as you guys will see in the upper left yeah the upper left has the logo and the turn trocos logo so uh, let's go ahead and get it to the match I decided to lead off with my Azelf right here as he decides to lead off with his Bronzong my main mentality here is I'm kind of bl um, hoping he goes right for a gyro ball right away and we can maybe scout the damage and go directly into our Thunderous and throw off the Black Hole Eclipse. So, because I did show Taunt last time, so he might be tempted to attack right away. So instead, I decided to U-turn out right away. And I figured uh, that was definitely a uh, Spadaf Bronzong, which means I definitely need a lot more damage on this thing before Black Hole Eclipse can take it out. So I decided to pivot out into my Scizor first, and this actually ends up working out really well, because it throws off a Toxic turn one. If I taunted, that was not really the best play either, but uh, now I know that my U-turn will do a lot. We are max attack, so... We can U-turn out on that thing, and that thing's definitely into range of my Thunder's attack right now. So he's going to use this opportunity to get up rocks, probably his best play all around. But now we can fire off that Black Hole Eclipse, a uh, really great showdown animation, and we're going to be able to knock out the Bronzong turn 3, so that's really great for us. That was uh, one of his main responses to our Azelf as well as our Mega Scizor. We did not carry, I, I don't believe we carried the knockoff this week, but now uh, he's going to bring out his Terrakion, and unfortunately for him right here, he's going to end up missing a Stone Edge. Um, it would have been unfortunate because that would have uh, put my Scizor into range of a close combat, so it wasn't the greatest switch into the Terrakion anymore since we had max attack and not at max HP, but I decided to make a play here knowing that he won't stay on, on the bullet punch, so I U-turn out on the Vaporeon, and this is going to allow me to safely bring in my Thunderous Incarnate. So he's, he might protect right away, just to see, as he does, he's going to get leftovers recovery, so he can come back and healthier, and he can see what I want to go for. I just have to just make the Thunderbolt play again, and uh, judging from that damage on Heliolisk, since we, it would have done like 30 if he was not Assault Vest, so it's definitely AV, uh, as you guys are going to see right here. I just have to stand, just not seeing my Thunders' as usefulness. It's just checked by Scarf Terrakion, it can't KO the Latios from full now that we burned our Dark Hole Eclipse, so I just decided to stand right here, this Hyper Voice is going to do a good amount, and uh, we're going to go for the flinch right here just seeing if we can get anything uh it's a little bit less base power but it still puts it into range of my choice guard with azelf's attack right here so we're going to be able to go out into azelf u turn out and still not not reveal that we're choice guard since we do naturally outspeed the heliolisk right there so we're going to decide to pivot out into our kiram right now and just based on the fact that he brought in Kira teraki on that fast either it has some bulk investment to live in earth power or it's definitely Choice Scarf. So he's going to go right here for the close combat, as uh, that's going to do a ton of damage to us. But uh, with those defense drops, if he has Choice Scarf, Bullet Punch would knock him out. I just had to make the Bullet Punch play. I could have U-turned right there, but it wasn't worth it. Um, I could have obviously... Um, 
uh, you turned out until, and then brought in, brought in like a Fagrigus and started spike st uh, st stacking the T spikes right now. But I decided even if Vaporeon comes out, I can uh, bring in my Fagrigus on the Vaporeon. I decided to get rid of these rocks first though, because I don't want my uh, entire team getting weakened. Kieran Black's health is very important this match, as well as my Azoth's. So um, I decided to bring in my Manaphy right here, and uh, I believe this is where I start tail glowing off. Uh, so uh, yeah, I get off a tail glow right here. I believe he throws off the toxic, so uh, th that's gonna be a little bit annoying. It's gonna start wearing me down, but it's not that big of a deal right here because he's, he can protect. I could have tail glowed up again right there. I was really expecting the protect, but I figured since he has really no reason to go for it, since he's already at full health, I just decided to throw off the energy ball. As he's not gonna get any left his recovery, and now he's gonna pivot out into his Latios. As I, I can make these calls, and like I did, I missed the call on the Teraki on the second time with the U-turn, and I'm deciding to make the safer play right here, and it's not working out for me. But I really do think it. Was not worth going for an ice beam on the Vaporeon because um, he could have worn me down with toxic damage had I gotten that play wrong. He would have got another protect off and then he would have obviously uh, gotten my Manaphy really low and then I would have still had to make a prediction anyway. So I just had to salvage whatever I can right here and go right for the energy ball. And he's going to bring out his Latio, which apparently cannot knock me out. Um, he did confirm after it had Dragon Pulse and not Draco Meteor. So he's going to pivot back out onto Vaporeon on the ice beam. So it uh, sucks that we're getting all these plays wrong right now. I could have uh, predicted right there. We're going to get the South Barrier a little bit uh, too too late, but I do decide to uh, switch out my Manaphy, knowing that he's going to go for Protect, just because uh, he, we would obviously go down to Poison, and he can't, he's not risking taking a plus 3 energy ball, so I go out into my Cafagrigus right here, and this is great because I can start setting up the T-Spikes. He's going to throw off a Toxic as usual, so that's pretty much what this Vaporeon wants to do right now, Protect Toxic kind of thing, probably has Wish and Scald, we already saw uh, Scald, so uh, we're going to be able to knock off the Vaporeon's leftovers and reduce its longevity, which is uh, great with me, and I can use this opportunity to, I believe, set up a second Toxic Spike, badly poison the um, Terrakion and the Victini, and uh, weaken the Vaporeon if that's what he wants to bring out next. So I just had to Memento right here, just because it, this is going to give me the freest switch in, into my uh, Kyurem Black right here, and I figured he might not want to stay in in case I will substitute. Obviously I am Choice Scarf, but um, I decide to uh, throw off the Fusion Bolt right here. It's going to do over half, and he's not really not going to be able to do a lot to me, besides Toxic because of those uh, drops. So He's going to go for the Protect right here, weaken me a little bit down more with the Toxic. And uh, he doesn't really know if I'm Choice Scarf since Vaporeon is really slow, so if I did go for like a Dragon Claw right here or an Outrage, switching into the Latios is probably not the best option. So. Um, I decided to just, uh, he decides to go for the double protect, which, uh, in case he decided to get it. So, but we're, he's not gonna get it, so we can knock him out with the fusion bolt right there. Out comes his Victini, so I have, pretty much have to choose a sack versus this. I decided to sack off my scissor, because this is gonna give me a free switch into my Manaphy. Which can definitely take this thing out after the drops. Um, I was questioning whether it was Scarf or not. If it was Scarf and you want a speed tie, you probably had the game right there, but... Um, as you guys are going to see, I'm going to be able to outspeed go right for the Surf. Uh, I guess he wanted to see if I wanted to choke right there and go for the Ice Beam, predicting Lottie, but I figured that play was not worth it, and we finally got a play right. He decides to stand with the Victini and my Surf. If he switched out into Latios there, that would have been really unfortunate, but uh, we got the play right there, so he's going to bring out his Terrakion right here, and I believe this knocked me out. So he's going to go right for the close combat, and this is pretty much what the game's about to come down to, unless I can get some plays right if we get it wrong, so... Uh, I got out to Azoth right here. I can Psychic and knock this thing out, but the problem is I can uh, if he switches out into the Lottie on my Psychic, I um, he can start roosting up and Shadow Balling, or uh, he can start roosting up and going for Calm Minds or Dragon Pulses, whatever um, he, the Lottie wants to do. But if I Shadow Ball the Lottie, I will 2-hit KO this and the Terrakion cannot come in. So this play is really big right here. If I go for Psychic and he stays in, he obviously will be knocked out, but he needs this thing to check my Kyurem. So I decided to get the Psychic, I decided to go for the player right here of Psychic, as unfortunately he switches out into the Latios. So it's not really looking good right now because I decided to stay in and fish for his Bidef drops a few turns, but now I see the Roost, so um, it's not really good. And then uh, this is another big play. Uh, I have to pull the trigger with the Kyurem switch at some point, or else I will just lose the match. I figured uh, he could Roost Kama install me a little bit right now, but if he goes for the attack as I switch into my Kyurem Black, that's going to be uh, really bad. So. I decided to pull the trigger with my Kyurem Black right here anyway, as fortunately he ends up going for the another Combine, so now this is great because I can Scarf Outrage him and knock him out. Um, if he attacked right there we lost because Scarf, uh, because he would have just uh, been able to 1v1 my Azoth, unless he got a crit, and even if I went for Shadow Wall, the Terrakion could have knocked me out with Stone Edge or X Scissor. So um, Kyurem Black played definitely worked out right here, as uh, my choice Scarf um, Outrage is going to be able to knock him out. Honestly at that point he should have just spammed attacks, which is my Azoth once he got up to plus one. Dragon Pulse might have killed and there was no reason to let me switch out into my Kirin Black so he's gonna go uh, right for the um, knockout right there.
as uh, he's going to bring in Terrakion, and he said here he actually thought he won the match, because uh, he was Scarf Terrakion, and Azelf just definitely does not take this, but fortunately we are uh, Scarf Azelf, so we're going to be able to knock that guy out with the Psychic, and that's going to be a really narrow 1-0 against Slaybait, a very close match. Obviously if he got that Kirin Black play wrong, we would have lost the match right there, because if he had tacked, I would be forced back into my Azelf, I would have to crit Shadow Ball, and then Terrakion would just come back in and live a Shadow Ball, and knock me out anyway, so that's going to be a really great victory for us. Uh, we are now, uh, I think, 5-0 and against Slaybait. Uh, we faced him once in Season 2, once in Season 3, once in Season, season 4, and then twice now. So uh, that's really great. We move on to 7-0, and and one more win will definitely secure our bye week. So I really hope you guys are looking forward to that and the fact that we're 7-0 and right now. Once again, be sure to subscribe down below or in the bottom, in the bottom right if you guys want to follow the aggrons through the rest of the season. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.